Hey guys, welcome back to the Snapper and Chronicles. Today we're coming back at you with another As Found Ratchet video. Uh, I guess you've noticed that a lot of these As Founds are craftsmen. And like I was saying to you in previous uh, videos, yeah, it seems like craftsmen, uh, because of their popularity, seems to be uh, the most popular culprit out there of As Found videos. Oh, my ass found videos but uh, this one when I first picked it up I picked this up retail at a thrift store and it was four dollars and this is the three ace four three seven eight five V forged in USA uh, I want to say this is a little bit earlier model just because it has the old uh, the old release here the old uh, automatic socket release which had a pin in it in the earlier ones the quick release and and this one has an oil port on top and it has uh, the words <laughs> actually stamped oil so um, I'm going to guess that this is an earlier version of this ratchet, which this ratchet had a long run. It went from the late, mid to late 60s all the way up into, I think, the early 90s. So uh, I think they offered this one for like 20, 25 years. So a good run for this ratchet and... As we know, these always had a good reputation for strength and reliability. Uh, one problem I saw here, uh, but before I mention that, I just want to show that this one seems to be in pretty nice shape. The chrome is all good. Uh, no signs of abuse on it. Uh, like I said, uh, looks pretty good for its age, usually these show up especially the earlier ones they come in in pretty bad shape but this one from the outside looks good the problem is uh, it skips it skips pretty bad uh, so don't know what's going on inside, but the outside looks good. Uh, I'm going to open it up and see what's causing all that problem. Uh, got the... Hopefully this... It opens right up. So, uh, no problems really with dirt or anything. Uh, a little bit there, but not much. There's not much dirt in the little cutout there. And over here in the channel, there's no dirt either, which is a good sign, which is kind of rare. And here is the gear. And as we can see, the gear looks like some old lubrication, but it doesn't, it's not really coming out too much. Uh, could be dry, yeah, dry lubrication. It's just uh, glazed all over there, but not really uh, lubricating at all, just hard. And uh, I was thinking maybe the teeth were broken, but then I looked at the shape of it, and I'm like, how, how would the teeth be broken? This doesn't look like it was hardly ever used. So here we see the teeth all look like they're in good shape. Actually, this doesn't look like it was used much at all. If we look at the teeth, 
not much wear one one weird part about this uh gear is uh <laughs> the ball detent and the painting it looks like like a horseshoe painting there for some reason it doesn't look like they got all the way around with the painting it had like a horseshoe effect there i thought that was pretty interesting okay so what's causing uh What's causing the skipping? Here we see, uh, and the switch is pretty hard to turn. It's you could something's like gum gummed up in there, and just the peak of the teeth. The teeth look good on either side there, but let's take them out. Let's take out the switch and see. And uh, see what else we see here. Oh, and that comes right out too. I'm, I'm a little shocked because usually I have to struggle with this stuff. Uh, these old ratchets and it's clean. The channel is clean, free of dirt. There's very little dirt on the ring. But here on the on the opposite of the switch, you see this film. See this old grease. See how I'm like picking it off with this pick. It's coming off solid. I think that's that's the problem. I, I'm guessing because look 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 at <laughs> look at this Paul. The Paul looks brand new. The pole looks brand new. I'm thinking that it's old gummed up grease underneath uh, the pole and the ball that's uh, not putting enough pressure on the, on the when it switches is not putting enough pressure on the pole to give it uh, that ratcheting action. So it's kind of the pole is sagging. Sagging down and not engaging the gear. That's what I'm guessing because the parts look pristine, pretty much. Let me uh, get this. Try to coax this pole out, and it's it's hard to like it's sliding out like like it's full. You can feel the gunk as it's sliding out. And here is, oh boy, see that? See this grease here? See how it's all hard? And it's, <laughs> I'm, I'm picking it out in chunks. I think that's the problem. It's not, the ball detent isn't, it's probably got the same grease in it. And it's not, uh, probably giving enough pressure or maybe it is giving enough pressure but this is so gummed up on the sides and all over that it's like hardly moving once it starts ratcheting it it just goes down and doesn't ratchet back up you know what I mean it is it when it ratchets it goes down and then to engage again it goes back up It's not being able to do that with all this Grease. This is probably the original grease from, see the ball full of chunks? Actually the ball is stuck to the spring. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to... There we go. And it pops off. Actually the grease acted like glue almost. And you see in there this is all solid. The grease turns solid in there. Yeah, they used, I don't know what they used as grease from the factory, but I have run across these ratchets where they use this grease. And I found them original, like the original untouched ratchet. And the grease is like glue. And it's hard to get out even with mild solvents like WD-40 or something. You, you're going to have to work on it, even, even with a, a mild solvent to just
pick it up because it doesn't even react or soften up a lot to with the solvent and here's the spring look at the spring it's caked with that dried grease the ball is also caked with that grease which is turned glueish and there we go and uh, I'm gonna clean this up and then we'll come back and we'll see if it's any better okay so we're back uh, after some cleaning of the ratchet and the components it's uh, looking a whole lot better inside here I put uh, just to save some time I put the, the spring and the ball and the paw into its place but everything in there looks a whole lot better and cleaner there was especially on the paw side uh, the gear side over here wasn't too bad but over here in this uh, brooch space uh, there was a lot of dried grease in there but uh, with a little scraping and I, I use W WD-40 uh, to kind of loosen things up a little bit even though it, it didn't really liquefy the grease but it did help uh, soften it up some somewhat and instead of having a lot of flakes and powder it, it you know it, it the liquid uh, made it so I can mop it up a lot easier and better and here is the switch the switch still has a little bit of residue on it but uh, looking a lot better and the switching the switching feels a lot better and freer than it did so let's put uh, the switch back on hopefully I can do this quickly So the switch is on and now the gear like I said the gear was a little bit gummy but not too bad uh, clean that up clean up the teeth and the inside here clean that up a good bit sounds a whole lot better than it did and I cleaned up the ring even though it was pretty good as is let me get that piece out and get that around there and sat down and it'll go it all goes back together a lot quicker when it's just clean and there you go it sounds a whole lot better than it did and it is not skipping like it was skipping before so yes yeah, pretty pretty pristine inside uh not much wear at all as um Pretty much like the outside the outside looks real good the inside looked real good too the components it's just that dried grease was uh really binding uh especially the paw and uh getting in the way so yeah that's pretty much it uh okay guys until next time